you, you see, you, you've taken a lot of, you may not have taken it, but there's been a lot of negative chatter yeah. about your decision to, you know, to, to be here at our door. And you were the hero. You were the great guy. You were like the gift to the company. As soon as your decision to do something different without damaging what you left was made, you became the enemy. And people start putting up videos and and about why I boring is going to fail. And um, it, if you ever, if somebody, first of all, I'm sorry, if somebody ever puts up a video about why something else is going to fail and you watch it, you're a bigger loser than they are. Yeah. <laughs> because it's, 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 it's specific if you're watching it for entertainment. If you watch it yeah. because of a responsibility, <laughs> but for entertainment, it, it, it's, it's asinine to follow somebody's thought process like that. But how have you been through this process? Through this process of negativity, how have you and the family been? You know, um, I haven't watched one video anything negative anything about anybody sends me you know my response is and somebody sent me something 48 hours ago and it was you know a video of why i boomerang was going to fail and my response to them is i don't have time to watch things like this and the reason you're feeling the way you feel right now is because you watched it so for me and you know i'm criticized on this too <laughs> i forgive them I, I have literally forgiven them before they do it. I have forgiven anybody who has said anything negative about me. The lies that I've heard about me are now becoming comical because anybody who's been with me for any multiple set of years, trace me back to one lie to make money. Why would I start now? So, it has been free advertisement. Some of it has affected me a little bit. But then I look at the source of where it's coming from. These are millionaires that I helped create. All the way down to people who never even sponsored one person. Not one person that has criticized me has accomplished what I've accomplished. That is how I handle it. Now, if somebody who's accomplished more than me criticizes me, maybe I'll pay attention. But so far, including the owner, has never accomplished what I've accomplished as a distributor. Not even the director of training has accomplished what I've accomplished as a distributor. There's not one person that has criticized me publicly for my decision that has accomplished what I've accomplished as a distributor. That's how I handle it. I disqualify the noise until somebody brings the noise that has accomplished more than me. Man, you know what? I don't have anything to add to it uh, because I, my sentiments exactly, you actually share some stuff that I never thought about, but you're, you're absolutely right. Um, because I... I want people to know how successful people handle adversity. And and uh, I, I, I quote, I've quoted you for years and I always give you credit probably the first three times. And then from after that, it became a friend of mine who told me that adversity <laughs> causes some people to break and others to break records. Are you a record breaker? It was one of your famous sayings that I always got. And so what I've noticed is that you've come over and broken records. You know, uh, and, and so, um, and, and, but more importantly, I see a piece of, of happiness. Now, here's the thing. You're not back yet at your income that you left. Not yet. You're tracking it right now. Right. Tell me about your overall well-being of feeling. Is there, has there been a nervousness or what do you feel by being, not having that income and being here right now? <laughs> You know, there are times where I think, I thought about this today. Man, if I would have just waited 12 more days, I would have got $180,000 more. <laughs> like, I thought about this, one. I was like, as an investor, not a network, how much money would I put into something to make $180,000 in 12 days? And I thought to myself, damn, why did I make that announcement on November 2nd? <laughs> Why did I wait until November 
December 16th. And those are like, you know, those thoughts go into my brain and into my head. But that's pennies, man. It's, you know, I have those thoughts and those thoughts become pennies. Because what we're doing here, I've never made a million dollars in one month in anything. You have. The people I I was following over there, they never made $200,000 in one month as a distributor. I want to follow something that stretches me. And I'm not saying this to insult anyone, but you ask me a question, so I'm going to tell you my heart. Yeah. Being the smartest person in the room was terrifying. It was terrifying. And I'm not saying based on intelligence. I'm saying based on common sense of what people need and what they want and what we should provide. It seemed like I was the smartest person that realized what people deserved. And that terrified me, man. I understand that. I, um, you know, here's the thing. Uh, I don't have, I don't make as much income now as I made when I was in my previous company. You know, yeah. since I've launched this, um, you know, the claim is that the money's not there to pay my commissions. And you saw my back office. It's still hundreds of 